Alright guys, well this is part two of the video, the first part of the video that I said I was going to do. This is a requested video from friends and also like some people that I've met along the way. So I said okay fine, I said I'm going to do a story time organizing my glasses and I'm um, just talking about how I started my business, what motivated me to start and how it's going because today is the first year anniversary since I started my my business you know I said I didn't want to work for anybody else I said what can I do you know that I can be my own boss like what can I do so I thought about like a gazillion things and I'm like okay so I was giving I'm telling you food and I was downtown Miami I was just giving food and just thinking the whole day because I was driving from you know point A to point B, point C, D, and then all the way back home. And I'm like, okay, this there has to be more to life than just this forever. Like I'm young, what can I do? Whatever. So I started looking through um, YouTube. You know, I saw T-shirt business. I'm like nah. I saw the you know cup making business. I'm like nah, that's not for me. Then I saw like a gazillion things. I'm like okay. So I didn't like basically anything. I was like you know I'm losing hope. So. Um, people say that you need, like, how much to start a business? Like, you know, $5,000, $1,000, no. I started my business with just $200. Fix this because it looks like it's falling. No, so, whatever. Yeah, I started my business with $200, and I got on YouTube, and I started seeing how to create your own lip glosses. I'm like, okay, if I can make my own lip glosses and sell them, now what am I going to do? How much would I need? So I got online, and I started doing my research, because that's one thing that I... I agree with, like, most of the girls that are on here, and it really irritates me as well, like, as I just started. But I'm like, do your own research. Like, I didn't buy a vendor from anybody. Like, I just... I got on YouTube... I got on Google, I got on Instagram, I started Googling what I wanted to do, um, I got a notebook, and I'm like, okay, how am I going to do this, and um, how am I going to put them in the, in, like, in the tubes, like, what am I supposed to be doing, because I'm telling you, this is the first time I ever did it, so, um, I started about all my things, and at the beginning, I'm telling you, it's not easy, it's not easy because all these like, all the gel was literally all over my table, on the floor. I have kids, so you already know it was, like, it was a mess. And then, um, I started going, I'm like, you know what, how could I put this in there? And then I saw on other pages that they were showing how to how they did it. And I'm like, okay, well, it's not that bad. So I tried it out, and it was, it was okay. Also, um, it's cute. I'm just trying to keep them separated so when I get orders, it's easier for me to just, you know, get them from the bag instead of looking through the whole box and digging through it. It's a little, it's less time consuming. Ah, anyways, so these are cute. These are like, you know, these are little, which on the site it's called royalty. These are called royalty. You. So whatever, I got on Canva and I started doing the designs of my of my business cards. So I got, I said I wasn't going to order from Canva, but I ended up ordering it. But it was like 50 cards for $11. And then by my house, there's a place that um, they do printing. So he's like, just give me the idea or show me like a picture and I'll do it for you. And then I'll tell you the price and you let me know if it's something that you want to do. I'm like, okay. So I gave it to him and it was turned out to be a thousand cards for what was it I paid? It was $40. $40 for a thousand business cards, which for me it was amazing because I'm like, okay, you know, I'm on a budget. I don't want to spend, you know, $500, $5,000 to open a business. If this is something that I don't even know if I'm really going to be doing. Whatever. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's cope with this thing. Because it's the first time I use this um this thing to hold my phone. So I'm trying to do the story time and also separate my glasses. These are the watermelon. 
two-tone watermelon with a little bit of holographic glitter. Which isn't bad. This is cute. Anyways, so I did my business cards on Canva, took it to the guy. He had it done in two um, business days, which wasn't bad at all. Then I did, um, what else I did? I created my, my Instagram. I'm like, okay, now what am I going to do? I have nobody. And I didn't know anybody to ask any questions. And I don't want to be annoying like these other girls because they say that they get annoyed by all the questions and all the stuff. So it was literally me and trial and error. So I'm like, okay, what am I supposed to do? So I started looking for um, hashtags. And then I started getting a little bit of likes. I started getting orders. And then automatically, I'm going to tell you the truth. Automatically, I started reaching out to um, my friends, which, you know, best thing to do, friends, family. And I started telling them about my business and what I'm doing, blah, blah, whatever. And then they started to order and also recommend some friends. People were finding me on Instagram, and then they started ordering. I got my first, well, I started my business around this time. And then my first order was on July 4th. On July 4th, and I was on vacation with my family at that time. So I was like, okay, so when I get back to Miami, I'm the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pack this order. I don't want it to take forever to reach to somebody's destination and, you know, give me good promo for not making it last, you know, three or four weeks to get something, which whatever. Things happen, and we're in, during a pandemic, so I can't really say much about people that take that long, but it shouldn't take that, that long. Anyways, so I got that one. That first one was at in Utah. I would never forget. These are to clean your eyebrows. Whatever. Every order will get one of these for free. I'm going to send one in each order for free. Whatever. So, um, it was in Utah. Then I got one in California. I got an order. Well... To sum up all the, um, the states, I am currently in 29 states, and I got one in London. I got an order in London from one of my friends, and I was, like, just blown away. I'm like, you know what? I started this, and I was scared. I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? I don't want to look stupid, you know, in front of everybody that was like, you know, you're crazy. going to start, you know, put your job. I used to work with a cardiac, or like a cardiologist. Um, you're going to quit your job to do this full time. Like, what are you going to do? You have kids. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take a leap of faith. Because if I don't know, like, if I don't do it, then I won't know if I'm actually good at it. So, I actually did it. I'm glad I did. And then I've met the most incredible people. Like, a lot of us became, like, a little, like, not super close. I'm not going to say we're super, super close because I just... But we keep in touch, and then I'm like, if you guys want anything, you know, I give promos, I send codes, I send them things in the mail. Like, to some of them, I've sent um, free things in the mail after their purchase. It's not bad. I do lip oils, I do lip scrubs, I do soaps. All this stuff, I do it handmade. This is Cupcake. Cupcake, which is just clear Versa, with air sprinkles. It's not bad. And then the black glove is to, for the contrast, you can see exactly. This thing tends to lose focus. However, so, um, after doing that, I went on, um, you know, looking for, because I don't like going into anybody's page, and I don't like to, like, steal anybody's pictures. I don't like to do none of that. But I do like to put my twist on it. And, um, you know, it's working out so far. They told me to hop on YouTube. I don't feel comfortable like for now showing my face. I just don't feel comfortable for now. So that's why I say I feel most comfortable like this, just talking and showing you what I'm doing. And then these are the old school compared to mine. You know, I'm not trying to do anything but just these are the old school. Some people just want plain old, basic old school. And some people want modern, different, whatever. So... Um, now that's that, I, when I got, well, Facebook hasn't really done much. Instagram promos, they haven't gotten me any sales. They're just a little expensive. So I say go to hashtags. Go to hashtags and then anybody that has bought from you before, what you can do is you can actually shoot them like a, a DM. Like, this is so cute. And it's just a little bit of chunky glitter with 
Versa. This is like a little soda bottle. It's pretty. I did my own. Um, I did my own labels. I did my labels on. Um, was it? I bought my own labels in Walmart for like less than five dollars. And then I start. You have to get the code, which I'll do a whole tutorial on that. Let me know in the comment section if you are interested. I will do a tutorial on it. I did my own labels, which I want to change it because I think it's a little too clear. So I want to do something, something a little more that you can that you can read it. Whatever. So what you can do is people that have bought them from you, you can actually send them out some things like in the mail. They'll appreciate it. Like either a promo code or something like a sample. I have samples here. I'll show you. These are my pepper sprays. I have different kinds. Because like I showed in my previous video, um, I have safety keychains. And these you can buy them together with or without. And I could do just plain, you know, however you order it. Wristlets, or I can add all this to your order, which isn't bad. So you see I have cupcake. I have these also that are diamonds. Very different. They're pretty. And I have the basic ones. And I have the old school ones. And I have just these are just glitter. It's not chunky glitter, it's like a little soft glitter, but it's really nice. Okay, so I guess it's something just to start off your your little mini business. I also have, well, I was showing in the other video, but I'll show here as well, my the brush holders. She says, you got this with the brushes. You can use them basically for whatever you like. But I would like makeup brushes because that's in my niche, however you call that. I also have bangles. I have plain and I have these that are like this is clay. It's like clay and it's like it's not that it's like a little hard but not that hard. And then these candy and then also like a little teddy bear, which is kind of adorable. It's really adorable. Super cute. And these are also available on my website. I'll put all the links below. And then when I get an order, this is what it looks like. I put them in my little organza bags. This is Estelle from my collection. These are mate, double sided. This is a mirror. So this is liquid. And this is just a lipstick. The safety keychain I'll show you just in case you didn't see my other video. An alarm, you pull this out and it's super extremely loud. So if you're running, you'll get, they can find you. This one here. The tactical stick, if you don't know what it is for, this is just in case you get trapped inside a car, you have to hit the window, like a window poker or whatever. You don't have to poke somebody and go to jail, no. But it's just a window poker, like just in case you need to break anything or open anything. It's not bad. Then you have a whistle, just in case you're in a forest or whatever, and your alarm is not working, or you decide not to get the alarm with your keychain. And these are just for aesthetics. Just a puff ball. And then I have also a tassel. So you already know we went through how I opened my business, which is literally two hundred dollars. I didn't spend not one more dollar. I spent two hundred dollars on getting inventory. And then I started off with um, the squeeze tubes. And then I went over to wand tubes as soon as I saw that I sold out my, my squeeze tubes. And then I started adding little things along the way, which isn't bad. Because I'm telling you, I, I started as soon as I, I wanted to start. Like I didn't take, I, I, I don't push anybody to start anything that they're not ready for. But I say, start your business and make it perfect later. And I love helping because I think that 
there's enough money to pay everybody like five times. You know, I always say we can we can all sell the same thing, but it doesn't have to be exactly the same. Like, you know, we just put your own little twist to it. And these business cards, I like, I'm not sure if I put it, but I like to put my website on it. See? This is not bad. I also did this by myself. I got the labels from Walmart. And then I did it here. So, since I didn't have any space in the front. Some people are lazy and they really don't want to go to my Instagram and then check for my, no. So, here it is. I put it here. I typically send two to five, and I tell people that they can hand it out to their friends. is isn't bad. So I don't want this video to be so long, but I just want to tell you, like, the way that I started my business. And that all the taboos that people say that you need a lot of money, and you need to do an LOC, and you need to do all these things, and that's not true. And then what you do is that with your money, as soon as you get paid, you pay yourself, obviously, but you have to use at least half of it to re, you know invest more into your business so you can start with only squeeze tubes you can start with only makeup brushes you can start with whatever and you don't need an iphone you don't need none of that an intro and outro logos none of that you can start simple and then just work your way up the ladder all right guys so again thank you for watching if you could like comment share subscribe share tag a friend send it to a friend i appreciate it Thanks. Bye.